so a, a very good afternoon to all of you. Uh, it's my privilege to be here sh sharing this, uh, something that we do on a regular basis um, <coughs> with all of you. Now, I think for, for many of us who are security pra uh, practitioners, I think we always come across the problem of justifying th the next investment dollars, right? Especially year after year, we are seeing more threats. Year after year, we are going back to the board, going back to the management to ask for more money, right? To implement more controls to deal with the latest threats, right? So I don't have the latest technology to share with you. Uh, neither do I have a crystal ball to look into what's going to happen in the future. But what I do have is to share with you a set of operational matrix that we have, right, that potentially can help, uh, help you justify to your board right, the right funds, the right investment required for your next, to buy the, the, the latest tools and the latest services that you hear from many of our esteemed uh, speakers today. Right? <coughs> so exactly what, what do we see as an information, uh, information security matrix? Now, matrices is essentially uh, something that's pretty straightforward. Right? So when you peel away the layers, essentially matrix is just a set of numbers. Right? So it's, it's a set of, it's a standard unit of measurement. So it, it's something that's got to be consistent repeatable and tangible, right? So why do we measure it? I think the, this is the, really the key part of why we need uh, to do this assessment, right? So essentially, is to give uh, our management, the board of directors, an appreciation of where we are today, where we need to be, right? And how do we want to take it from here? At the same time, it's also a, a, a measurement of our performance in terms of how we are doing uh, in the area of security operations. Right, so, and lastly, what do we measure? So a few things that we measure today, right, so things like uh, the strategic big picture, right, so how overall, what is our security program looks like? So how do we measure up in our information security framework, right, on a day-to-day -day basis, on a regular basis, how are we operating? How are we dealing with the latest threats? And internally, in, in our environment, where do we stand today, right? So. Information security program matrix. So this is really an assessment of how we are doing as an information security program, right? So this is really to give, so this is what we have today. So years ago, I think we, we, we got one of the consultants. So uh, we got Deloitte to come in to do an assessment of where we are. So framework-wise, this, this can, the similar framework can apply to many of the other uh, industry frameworks that we have today, ISO 27000 and, and some of the other are commonly available frameworks today that you have. Right? But the key thing here is being able to understand where you are, where you need to be. Right? So getting them in will help to identify, to, to, to provide some form of a benchmark right, of where you are today, but vis-a-vis -vis the rest of the industry. Right? And also against some of the, your regulations, uh, against some of the, the threats that we see today. Right? So from there, you can identify where, where right? So from there, you can identify what are the areas that you are doing well, what are the areas that you are facing gaps, and what are the areas for improvements. Right? So once you have that, right, it's, it will be much easier for you to come up with a roadmap or uh, an improvement programs over a period of time. Right? Say, for example, these are some of the, the things that we typically look at. Right? Having said that, I, I need to qualify that this is not a reflection of what the SGX environment is like. So this is a lot, of the info <coughs> a lot of the information that you see today has been sanitized. But again, this is just for illustration purpose, right? So where we are today, where we need to be, and how, how are we getting there, right? So here, what we're es essentially illustrating is that on the first year, right, so planning period one, what are we going to do? Second year, third year, what are we going to do? So this not only gives the management an idea of the current spend that we need to have in this FY, but it also gives them an appreciation of how we are taking our security investment over the next couple of years. Right? So they would have an appreciation of, okay, uh, so this is, this is the areas that we need to improve, these are the areas that we need to invest. So it gives them a much longer term view. Right? So if you, if, you, if you have a frequent conversation with your CFO, this is actually something that he's looking for because on an annual basis, he does need to justify to all the investors how we are spending our money, right? So why is the cost of business going up, right? So this will essentially provide the narrative, okay? 
Now, so this, this will be so-called the, the strategic program that we're looking at. Now, on, on a more regular basis, so typically on, on a strategic front, we will do that on an annual basis or at most once every six months, right? So we will, at the start of the year, we will look at, okay, so what, what are we going to do for this FY? Six months down the road, provide the board an appreciation of uh, how we are doing with the, with the implementation of those programs. Right, and is there any need for us to change direction, right? As the threat change, as the environment change, okay? So now this is our so-called threat and control matrix. So essentially this is a set of more operational matrix that will give you an idea of where we are responding uh, to, to the emerging threats on a monthly basis. Now, e even for the, the layout of the threats, uh, there is a certain narrative that we're trying to tell based on this set of uh, matrices. So essentially, right at the top, we have some of the reconnaissance activity. So that is really a leading, indica a leading indic indicator for us, for us to see that if is there significant interest in SGX in, in our environment? Is there people who are targeting us? Is there a significant increase in the number of reconnaissance activity? Right? So subsequently, then we look at, OK, so control-wise, how, how do we do as a network, uh, our network controls? Are we seeing more intrusion attempts, less intrusion attempts? And despite having all these now, uh, controls in place, are we seeing more malwares getting to our desktop? And hence, therefore, we are seeing more alerts. And lastly, at right at the bottom, which is the C2 callback, that is really the indicator of how well our controls are functioning. Right? Is more control failing? And that's why we are seeing an increase in the number of C2 callbacks. So this set of numbers essentially when chained together does give a good reflection of how our controls are doing today. Okay. Now lastly, I uh, just wanted to share with you our some of the environment security matrix. Now on a monthly basis we do, or on an annual basis, we do quite a, quite a fair bit of us various security operations like uh, awareness training, user access verification, and, and a few other things. Now this is really not so much of a snapshot of how our environment internal environment is like. But more so, I think there are quite a number of matrices that we, we are not showing here, but essentially is to give management an appreciation of perhaps the technology team, how well are they performing, how long are they taking to resolve some of the issues, mean time to remediation, exposure, how long does each of the issues get addressed. Right? So over time, it does give us a good indication of how are we performing as an organization, over time, are we getting better at handling vulnerabilities, handling uh, issues that we identify, right? In, even in terms of the security awareness, after we conducted our training, right? So do we conduct phishing exercise to better appreciate if people are taking uh, their security awareness training seriously? And do they do what they're supposed to do even after the training, all right? So very lastly, I think in conclusion, uh, Security matrices is useful uh, for us to look at a few things. One, overall program, how are we doing, where do we need to be? Right? And um, on a more operational front, right, how are our overall controls faring against some of the latest threats? And if we start to see trends, uh, a trend of more and more detection and alerts, and that's when you need to justify for the next dollars to buy the next set of tools that you need. All right? Thank you very much. Thank you.